I want to pull this up if I can, uh, which is basically what the stock price has done since you took over July 1 of 17. We'll put this up here. I've got it in my terminal. It's a pretty dramatic story. What did you do? You know, the team has done an incredible job of really pursuing this idea of going from the best of weight management to a more holistic approach to wellness. And it's really, really resonating. We ended the quarter at 4.6 million subscribers, the highest in the company's history. And that's a million additional subscribers since last uh, first quarter. But more important, and what I'm really pleased about is retention is now in the higher nine months, which is also the highest in the company's history, which means the engagement is there. But when you were here last, you were talking about what you were going to do. And part of it, as I recall, was it's not just weight. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's health and wellness and well-being, right? Which seems to be succeeding wonderfully. Does that limit your upside growth? Because as you expand out, you have more competitors than you do simply for well, weight. Well, actually, our biggest competitor are people thinking they can get healthy themselves. Only 5% of people use a commercial weight loss program, for example. So if we can be the partner to that 95% and we can be their everything app and community for wellness, and then we will still be the best weight loss program. So Freestyle, which is the new program that launched this January, the reason why it's resonating so well is that it's completely livable. Mm. It's simple, it's freeing, there's over 200 zero point foods, and people are losing the same and more weight even given all that flexibility. And that's what we're going to keep delivering and innovating against. But to pivot off of David's point, I mean, if you have uh, wearables uh, still in the market, Silicon Valley sort of entering uh, that space full time, you have uh, Berkshire Hathaway, Amazon, JP Morgan coming in for a healthcare initiative. At some point, that's got to start to bite into your. Well, actually, there's a difference between healthy living and health care. Now, we also have a B2B business that's been growing as well. But just in the la every month, we sink with 1.3 million activity devices. And as we continue to integrate that and create that engagement, we have 1.7 million people who monthly are in our closed loop community platform. And hence, that's why our engagement is so significant. And actually, my, some of my favorite stats, is so we had 2.5 million people use our barcode scanner and 260 million foods tracked. So that's 260 million opportunities for engagement. Mm -hmm. And so we're not just a program. The community aspect of what we do is so powerful, which is why we're spending and investing in all of the assets to make that journey and even more personalized and using the data and using the AI so everybody can feel it's their WW. And that app becomes, for people, the first thing they look at in the morning and when they go to bed. How sensitive is your business to the consumer, particularly the consumer feeling they have a little extra money in their pocket? I mean, do you track closely consumers' spending? We certainly look at everything. I mean, what, what our goal is is to really democratize wellness. So there's a tremendous amount of affordability to what we offer people to inspire, engage, and help them. But do you have a sense from your point, vantage point of how well the consumer is doing? I mean, can you monitor that around the country say, look, it looks like they're doing pretty well, or maybe they're a little nervous based on what you're seeing in subscribers? Oh, we certainly can. But what we're seeing is, uh, I think consumer sentiment is somewhat more positive, but more important what we track is if they are spending what they're spending on. And we are seeing, even in, if I put my old retail hat yeah, on, please. and in speaking with retail, um, many of the stores are spending a significant amount of dollars in expanding their health and wellness within their environment, and whether that's workout, whether that's connected technology for health, um, you know, sleep has become very important around the technology and helping people. So you're really seeing a shift in where people are putting their dollars. And look, everybody wants to live their healthiest life. They just need the tools to be able to do that. And we want to be able to provide them with that. Let's talk about your tools. How many people are you going to get to hire? And what, is, what are you seeing in terms of wages? So we are looking to hire a significant amount of particularly tech and product talent. We're expanding our offices in San Francisco. Uh, we're opening all new offices in uh, right after Labor Day. Um, we have a great need for everyone from data analytics and certainly it's a competitive market. 
the reason why we have such an appeal, especially with young people, is we are a company with a purpose. So not only are we going to be able to have a financial return on equity, for every element of growth we have, we have a human return on equity. And I could tell you that's been a big asset for us in hiring. But you definitely said it yourself, that it is competitive. So if your unit, what happens to your unit labor costs and how do you manage it? Is that a margin story for you or are you able to pass it on? You know, it really, ha our margins, if you look at our expansion, because of the nature of our business being a member and recruitment model, um, that is not the stress point for us. So we're going to hire the right talent, what we need mm. at the right time. What is the stress point? You know, we have to keep innovating. Uh, we have to keep serving our customer. And the way I'd like to think about it is I'd like to be talking about retention in terms of years, not months. Um, we would like to continue to add significant value to our members to be able to continue to grow. The other thing we're very focused on is the diversity of our members. So what's diversity? Age, gender, life stage, ethnicity, geography. Um, and we have strategies against each one of those, and whether it be in our influencers. Uh, I think you saw we just added Kevin Smith to DJ Khaled. Mm -hmm. We have a big focus yeah. around young moms. Uh, so how do we continue to expand our reach of who we're serving? Because everybody wants to lead a healthier life.